Hey guys, it's Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I've got the cutest little box for you today. We're doing this turtly loved turtle box. It's a little flip top treat box made for these turtles. Um, they're Dumet's turtles and you can find the milk chocolate caramel um, pecan ones at your buck 25 tree and you can find um, both the milk and dark chocolate at Walgreens around here so uh, this is the fun flip top box a little velcro closer flip top box you've got room for stamping a greeting or uh, writing a to from or a message in there and it fits these turtles just perfect look oh, cute Valentine's Day coming up. I thought this was just a really fun little treat, but of course you can do it all spring, summer long. All right, so let's get started with our box. I've got Mint Macron cardstock here. It's eight inches by nine inches, and we're going to score it up according to the template and trim it. Got my Simply Score tool here. I'm gonna put it on the nine inch side. And this is our template. I'll have a picture of the template on the project sheet for you so you can see clearly where to, um, what size to start with, where to score, how to cut away. So we're going to score on the nine inch side at one half, at one and a half, at seven and a half, and eight and a half. Rotate once to the right. You're going to score at two, three, five, and six. Now we'll work all of these scores with the bone folder. Okay, now we'll trim according to the template. I think the easiest way to do it is to take out these rectangles in the corners. So you got a long kind of wide one, a long skinny one, and then a small rectangle, one, two, three. So let's go ahead and cut those out. I'm going to go two score lines up to the first intersecting score line, cut a nice straight line, get rid of the scored paper. Then I'm gonna rotate second score line up to the first score line, cut that guy off. And then across this little square here, we're gonna cut off this score line. And then we can cut a little bit of an angle down to get rid of that corner. And we're gonna do that for all three corners. All right, there's all four corners out. Now let's liberate our glue tabs. So the next thing is liberating these square glue tabs. And we're gonna do that by cutting straight along the side of the box and then a little angle cut, remove the score line. So we'll do that on all four tabs. There's our glue tabs. Now I'm gonna round corners. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four on this side. One, two, three, four on this side. You can use whatever corner rounder you have, or if you need one, the detailed trio punch from Stampin' Up! will give you a, a corner rounder if you're in the market for one. There is our box. Now let's do adhesive. We're gonna do little equal signs on all four tabs. I'm using tear and tape. You could absolutely use liquid glue. If you use liquid glue, you have to hold the corner until it grips. And I am just not patient enough for that, but it will give you a great strong, uh, oh, strong hold. So liquid glue is fine. If you're not patient, you don't want to hold the corners till they grip. Well, use your tear and tape. I'm going to remove the liner using my take your pick tool. The little piercing end makes this job super easy. And now we'll form the box. And just fold in your tab, fold up the side of the box, nice square corner, burnish. Same thing, all four corners, all the way around the box. It's a super simple little flip top box something kind of different from what we've done in the past and fits these turtles perfect and there it is all right let's do some turtles next i love the little turtles i love the big turtle we're gonna do three turtles i've got just jade memento tuxedo black and my stampin pierce mat the turtle and friends stamp set is photopolymer so you're Stampin' Pierce mat is your best friend for a nice 
even impression and you can bundle turtle and friends with the turtle builder punch and save 10 percent love this bundle and especially love this bundle since i've uh, learned to put the little white eyes on our turtle i think it really brings them to life let me show you we're gonna take some mint macaron cardstock and just jade ink we're gonna stamp a turtle and we're gonna stamp two little turtles i got them on the same block with just jade ink then their shells also with just jade ink the little guys and the big guys we're gonna fill in with that tortoise shell pattern So sweet. Now slide this guy to the side. We need some basic white. We've got a little scrap here, but even better than a little scrap is a little strip. So I'm just gonna cut a small strip. Got a piece of Stampin' Up! small grid paper here. You can tell this one's much loved, but we wanna protect our Stampin' Pierce mat because we are gonna do the eyes now. So we're gonna change our ink from just Jade to Memento Tuxedo Black. So we're just wiping off using our simple chamois. And now we're going to ink up just the eye for our turtle and our little turtle. We're gonna do two little eyeballs for our little turtle. So we've got all of our eyeballs there and one more bit of stamping before I close up my ink pads. I have a label that I cut using my pretty pillow box die sets. I love the labels in this die set and the tag. They're really um, very useful. Use them all the time. It's a pretty little stitched one and it'll fit the you are totally loved greeting just perfectly. So we're going to ink that up with Memento Tuxedo Black and stamp centered on our awesome label from Pretty Pillow Boxes. It's cut from basic white. Ta-da! All right, let's get the ink pads out of here before I ruin something. Our little turtles need to be cut with scissors. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll be right back and we'll do some punching. All right, so we've got our two little turtles. Aren't they sweet? Now time to do some punching. Here's our big guy. We can just punch him right out. Love these punches. Now to our eyes. We've got a little eye right here. We're gonna slide in to a little circle at the bottom of the punch and punch out that little eyeball. You'll see it just landed right there, so don't lose it. And now we're going to take this eye to the little circle on the side of the punch. It's a little bit bigger. And we're going to punch this one. All right, so there's our little eyeballs. We're not going to lose them. They're right in the punch. And we're going to bring our turtles really to life with these little details. So here's our little turtle with his eye all done up. Here's our second little turtle. We're gonna change that one from a closed eye turtle to an open eye turtle. We're gonna put the details on this guy. So I've got multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm gonna do the tiniest little dab of glue right on the turtle, on his eye. And then I've got my take your pick tool. Now grab the little eye off of the punch. It's just sitting right there waiting for us. See, pick it up with the take your pick tool. Bring it to the turtle, pop it on the glue, all done. Super simple, great detail, just really brings this turtle to life, whether it's the little guy or the big guy. Cute, right? All right, let's go ahead and grab our heart punch pack. I love these. We're coming up to the season of love again. This is the heart punch pack. This is from the Stampin' Up! annual catalog. We are going to punch ourselves a Sweet Symmetry heart. We're gonna use a smooth one, this Flirty Flamingo Sweet Symmetry paper. 
And then we want a scallop layer. These are both one awesome punch pack from Basic White. We can glue those two together. Don't you just love the beautiful layered heart that makes? And it's so easy. Perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm going to do a few more Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper pieces. This is the front of our box. It's one and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. We want to round the bottom corners to match the flap. So let's go ahead and give those a punch. And we can adhere that right to the front of the box. Two more pieces of Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper. This navy one, it's the opposite side of our box cover, is five eighths by five. We put that about centered, right to left, and about a quarter of an inch of designer series paper showing under. And this one is three quarters by three and seven eighths. We're gonna put that one off center a little bit, overlapping. And now our heart. We can pop that right on the front of the box, centered. But we're going to use some dimensionals and give it a little lift. I love dimensionals, even double dimensionals for treat boxes. Now a totally loved sentiment. We're going to add liquid glue under you are and a mini dimensional under loved and put that across the bottom of our little heart here. He's so cute. Make sure it's level. Well, we've got a little second to slide. And my turtles, let's adhere the small guys before we lose them. We don't let things sit because I lose them so easily. And this little guy right over you. And this little guy is going to hang off the heart a little bit. So I like to put the dimensional on the heart expose the adhesive and then line my little turtle up right on the adhesive. Look at those cuties. Now inside, we're gonna put this label. You can absolutely go ahead and adhere your label now. And then if you think of it later and you want to write a to from message or stamp a greeting, just lay it flat and you can do that. If you already know what greeting you might want to stamp there or who this is to or from or what message you might want to write, you could do that now. Otherwise, if you want to do them ahead and add your message, this box will open up flat like that for you to put your message. I cut this one from basic white cardstock using the ornate layers dies. It's a gorgeous, fancy rectangle set. And we're going to use this long skinny, not the longest one, the next longest skinny rectangle. Glue that with liquid centered right to left and burnish it down. Then our sweet turtle, I'm going to add that guy over the edge of the label here. Now I thought it needed just a little pop of color, so I used my brand new Sweethearts dies. These are going to be available January 4th in the new January and June catalog. And I use these little hearts here to cut a scrap of Calypso coral, make a little heart. And I'm gonna pop that right on the turtle's shell. I love the little pop of contrast and the reinforcement of that turtley loved theme. Now let's do our, re our, um, our Velcro closers. So I ordered these Velcro closers from Amazon. It's 3 8 inch circles, and I buy them in a six pack of 56. So that's how I get them. 
They're Velcro brand, and they're really awesome. They're inexpensive, lightweight, easy way to close up packages and have them be reclosable so that your recipient doesn't have to tear into the package to get the treats. So when I'm using these, I put the soft side and the crunchy side together, and then I cut off as many as I need. I'll confirm that I've got the soft side because I want the soft side on the lid and the crunchy side on the box. So we'll go ahead and remove the adhesive liner on this little sandwich. And I'll stick this sandwich about a quarter of an inch down, a quarter of an inch in on the top of the box. And same with this one on the other side, other corner, about quarter inch down, quarter inch in. Burnish that so that the adhesive really grabs to the cardstock. Now you can peel the release and you'll make the other side of the sandwich sticky. This is a way to perfectly line up your pieces. There's no guesswork involved at all. Uh, close your box, let the adhesive grab, and then gently take apart the two pieces. The first time you're going to have to go gently because your adhesive here needs to be burnished down also. So go ahead and really burnish that down good on the inside of the box. Now, once you've burnished down the adhesive, opening up is no problem. Cute, right? Time for a little embellishment. I love punched embellishments. You use up your scraps, they cost you next to nothing, but they really add fun texture. We are going to do our embellishments with a brand new bow punch. Love this. If you're asking me what you need from the new January June catalog, what you're gonna get the most bang for your buck, it's definitely this bow punch. It's gonna play nicely with the strawberry builder if you've got that one. And it's gonna play very nicely with the flower builder, this little four petal flower from the annual catalog. Let's punch our flowers. We're gonna do the smaller of this four petal flower from so saffron. And then I've got a scrap of bumblebee. We're going to do the strawberry builder flower from bumblebee. And then the bow punch. Got a little bit of knight of navy. We're going to do the sprig with knight of navy. And I got a little bit of mint macaron over here. We're going to do our leaf with mint macaron. See that? Using up scraps has never looked so pretty before. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. And then here's our little flower with the green, just jade center. Here's our little flower with the blushing bride center. To finish up this flower embellishment, we're going to use the new adhesive backed hexagons. And these will also be available starting January 4th in the new January June catalog. If you need a January June catalog, follow the link in the description below. I'd be happy to get you the newest Stampin' Up! catalog and celebration brochure. All right, Stampin' Pierce Matt. Take your pick tool and our flowers. We're gonna just put the cap on our take your pick tool. We're going to press into the center of the flower and that's gonna give it kind of a cup shape. We'll do the same with the small flower. Liquid glue to the back of the small flower just at the bottom of this cup shape here. You can use a um, glue dot, a mini glue dot here too. And that'll give you instant, instant grab. Just slide that to the center. And now you've got a really pretty dimensional flower. Uh, see what I mean about the mini glue dot and instant grab? You won't knock your flower apart. Let's let that set for a second and dry. Bring this guy back in here. Got my bow leaves, my bow punch leaves. I'm going to put some liquid glue on the back of the stem. Pop that right along my heart. And then my sprig, a little glue on the stem. Pop 
pop that right over. I love layering these two shapes. Look at how pretty in different colors, but what exciting um, shape that gives and pop a color and some freshness. It'll really liven up any little card or project. These boughs and flowers will be that thing that just brings a project all together for you. We'll put a mini dimensional on the box over the stems and then bring in our flower. Give it a rotate so that it doesn't cover your greeting. You can use your take your pick tool to get the grab. So cute, don't you think? One more step. Let's grab a flower center. Oh, I don't know if I want the pink or the green. I'm going to do the blushing bride on this one. Make it match. And there we go. You are turtly loved. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? And with the uh, turtle treat inside. If you find anything else that fits in this box, if you give this a try, you make it with your Stampin' Up! products, please share on the kitchen table Stamper Craft Social. The link to the Craft Social group is in the description below. If there's anything I can do to help you stay crafty, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Grab a catalog, a new January and June catalog using the link below the video to the Kitchen Table Stamper store. And to shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.